You can find a lot of content on what is DevOps and how to DevOps, but I rarely see anyone addressing the question of why DevOps. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I do DevOps of all the other options that are available to me. Hey, what's up? I'm Will from DevOps for Developers. And in this channel, I talk about all things DevOps from building the skills to land your first DevOps job to implementing DevOps throughout your organization. And today I'm going to talk about why I choose DevOps. One of the big reasons to choose DevOps is your ability to land a job. Currently, there are many, many more open positions for DevOps than there are people available to fill those positions. And that trend is going to continue for a long time. But there's also the question of why would you want to do DevOps, period? You know, you ideally want to pick a career path that's something that you like to do. So why do I like it? The biggest reason for me is it's just actually cool work. I really enjoy doing it. It requires such a diverse range of skills that I don't get bored from doing one thing. You know, if I had to just sit down and write front end application code day after day after day, that wouldn't be enjoyable to me. But by doing DevOps, some days I'm working on that front end application code. Some days I'm working on the physical servers themselves. Some days I'm building processes that get that front end code out onto the servers and dealing with monitoring and logging and different things like that. There's just all these different technologies that I get to play in. And I'm not an expert in any of them, which kind of leads to the entertainment value for me because I get to learn something new every day, which is another one of the reasons I like doing DevOps is because I'm always learning. I'm never bored. And every time that you know, I get comfortable with doing something. I turn around and look and there's some new facet to it that I'd never seen before. And I get to go explore that. So for me, it's the ultimate culmination of getting paid to do my hobbies. You know, just by nature, I'm inquisitive and I like technology and I'm always screwing around with stuff. And in this scenario, I just happen to get paid really well for doing that. It also allows me to explore my creative side. You know, every problem, every implementation is different because it's a different scenario. There's no one single way to solve any problem in DevOps. And so you get to use your creativity to figure out what the best way in this exact scenario is. And then over time, you know, you build up this library of ways I've solved this problem in the past and you can pick and choose different ones, kind of like Legos to solve that next time. There's also this continuous learning thing that I really enjoy you know, due to the nature of the technology, there's always something that needs to be updated. There's always a new library, a new framework, some new way to solve this problem and some different applications that I can use. So it gives me the ability to use all of these different technologies and then combine them into new ways to solve the same problems. And I think I already said this, but I'm going to say it again because it's one of those things that is true for me and it's the diverse range of skills required. You know, you have to have skills on networking, um, Linux and Windows and writing code and deployment and how to log applications and how to monitor applications, build alerts, how to create an on-call rotation, you know, and an escalation policy, and then how to manage an outage whenever your production systems are down. It takes all of those skills and more and you're never going to be an expert in all of those. So it goes back to that whole learning thing that I just mentioned. It's not what is DevOps or how to DevOps, but why DevOps. And that's why I do it. 